important than party and politics. It's about the people he represents. How bad is it, Congressman? Look, you know, I, I've seen the uh, 2014 surge. I've seen the 2019 surge and now the 21. Uh, usually uh, you have high peaks from March, April, May and June. But now we're in July going into August and we're not seeing this stop. Uh, you know, you, we have to put attention, first of all, to our border communities, prioritize the border communities. And then also we got to think of our, about our men and women that are doing this work. They don't want just a pat in the back. They need support. They need equipment. They need personnel. And, and we need to understand that there's a serious situation down there at the border. We know that the, code, the, the vaccines there are, are not prevalent in Central and South America and the top 10 countries where these people are coming from. So they're coming over here, excellent chance they're gonna be spreading the virus. Does the administration realize this? There's no testing going on? Well, you know, I, I don't know the administration knows it, but I can tell you that the men and women on the ground uh, you know, Border Patrol or even uh, Customs, uh, they understand because, look, in the Valley, there were 70 agents that have tested positive in the Laredo area, another 15. It's not only the agents, but it's also their families when they go home. So we have to prioritize our men and women of Homeland, and we have to prioritize definitely the border communities. I had, uh, for example, I've had um, County Judge uh, Richard Cortez, a Democrat in Hidalgo, where all this is happening. He called me yesterday and said, we have to put a pause. In about an hour or so, La Jolla, we're having a phone call. You saw what happened. They released people in a hotel, but nobody watches them. There were some of them that were sick. They were positive walking around. Oh. Uh, and nobody told them that they got released in La Jolla, Texas. That's part of my community. And I want to talk to those officials in about an hour or so. Congressman, if, if the administration listened to you, they could fix the problem. you got to turn people around right away. Send a message to Central and South America. You've seen the top 10 countries where they're coming from. This has been stopped before. How come they don't listen to you? You're a Democrat with a border community as your constituency. Well, you know, uh, again, you know, they, sh they don't have to listen to me. They need to listen to the border communities. And the border communities are saying, hold up, put a pause. My hometown of Laredo, they filed a lawsuit uh, against the federal government saying, we don't want any more buses of uh, uh, migrants coming in. The county judge in Webb County put a declaration saying, we are going to stop uh, border patrol buses from bringing in any more migrants into there because cases have shot up. Uh, our hospitals uh, are at getting full. We don't have the personnel uh, to work at the hospitals because a lot of them have been uh, sick. So this is what we're facing. They they don't have to listen to me, but they need to listen to the border communities, to the border communities, and they certainly need to listen to the men and women. They don't just want a pat in the back. They need some real help now and we're in a pandemic and they told us the the migrants were going to stop and because it's so hot and they're still coming congressman Cuellar, you're doing you care about uh the american people more than party and it's so rare today i hope people start listening to you thanks so much for joining us Thank you.